Hey, how are you doing? Are you doing all right? Are you doing okay? Well, if not, I hope this video brings you some form of happiness, relaxation, encouragement, laughter, anything to help you get through the day. Today. I'm going to be doing some sound paneling. Sounds. Some sound paneling sounds. Some sound paneling sounds? Some sound paneling sounds. Now, this is very thin sound paneling that I have up. has more of a decoration, but it does cut out a lot of high frequencies. Um, I've not ordered my other sound paneling yet. I'll probably do so at the end of the month, and those will be... Um, you can't tell, but this is around a half an inch wide. Those will be two inches. behind my desk right here, as well as behind me on that wall. You can't really see it with the lights off, but I have some of the sound paneling on this wall here. ones um, because they're easy. They're, this is double-sided sticky stuff, so you just peel it off and place it on the wall. And I have around like ten in a group on both this wall and around 20 or up in general. Um, they look nice and they do work subtly. You wouldn't use this type of, you know, sound insulation in a real studio. But it works perfect. bedrooms, because although they're mainly decorative, they do, or they are, made of good material, legitimate sound absorbing, uh, sound absorbing material. Um, it's good stuff. I believe it's like a composite felt. It's very thickly stacked. So you can kind of see that if I just continually talk, how sound absorption and sound paneling works. And obviously this is an extreme example, because I'm very close to the microphones. But you can see how if I stay center and keep my voice right down the middle, if I just block one side, only going to hear this here. If I block this side, you're only going to see this here. Hear this here. See this here. Sorry. If you've watched my channel long enough, you'll know that I can't talk by now. <laughs> so that's just a little example, just of if you're confused by sound absorption is important in certain fields, you know. I 
also use my condo to record music. So it's kind of a win-win, you know. It's both decorative and it has legitimate use cases and useful purposes that I use it for. I'm really excited to get the big guys in because the area I record my videos, which I have the lights off today because I know some of you like it better when it's just the light up here and dark in the background. But this area um, it's where the most or it's where the reverberation hits and the decay of the reverberation hits uh, the strongest in my place. And it's probably because it is well there's a window right here. Right here. There's a giant window. Huge window. It's a big window. It's 80 inches long. It's a big window. So there's a lot of reverberation that comes off of that. Um, but I believe if I get two behind here and two back there, then it should get rid of most of the nasty frequencies and most of the reverberation decay. For the type of music I record, I prefer to do my reverberation in box, and I prefer to have the cleanest signal I can, and honestly the driest signal I can. Um, I don't like oversaturating my music, even though my recent release is definitely oversaturated. constantly change as a person and your tastes and how you especially as a you know musician on how you like your music to sound it constantly changes so Sort of.
It's actually quite nice. Goodbye.